We're gonna be unboxing a $500,000 sneaker mystery box. We're coming for all the records. I've seen other sneaker heads do $250,000 before, and Mr. Beast even did $500,000 himself. So Mr. Beast, we coming for you. Oh yeah, and if you didn't know by now, my name is DJ, and this is The DNA Show. Hey! <laughs> I love unboxing some of the craziest sneakers in the world and giving you guys exclusive looks. Untied hit me up and told me they had some shoes that just actually might blow my mind. And honestly, I'm ready to put them to the test. Time to put them to the test. The first shoe that I see right here, we got the Oregon 13s. This is the football version. Uh, that's a size 12. But if this was a 13, I might have been interested in grabbing these. This is actually a very clean shoe. They have three different versions of these. You got the gray one, the black one, and then the green one right here, made for the different teams for the University of Oregon. These things are like, I think $3,500, $4,500, somewhere around there. We'll see, the, all the prices will be popped up on the screen for you guys, but let me know what you guys think about these down below in the comment section. I feel like this is definitely a very solid start, and I know they're messing with my emotions right here because they know I'm an Oregon boy, so I get it, I get it. All right, next up right here, uh-oh, it says giveaway. This is a giveaway shoe, what we got? We got a SV box, Nike Dunk Low. What we got in here? Orange lobsters, makes sense, makes sense. So we're gonna be doing this as a giveaway. I'll let you guys know more information at the end of the video how the giveaway is gonna work. They told me they were gonna sprinkle in a pair of shoes for us to do a giveaway, so make sure you guys stay tuned to the end of the video for all that information. And again, shout out to Untie. You know, they always know what they're doing, but you know what I'm saying? They're coming off real slow right now, so hopefully they got some bangers in here because $500,000 is a lot of money. All right, next up right here, what we got? Air Jordan 1 Low SP, Wolf Gray, White Sail. Oh, shoot. This is out of 8,500. You know what that is. We got the Dior 1 Lows right here. Yo, this is a friends and family version. Look at the tag, zeros. This is not your normal Dior One Low right here. I know it does look similar, but these ones in particular, the only, I only seen like one other person with the shoe. This is actually crazy right here. I don't know what you would value this shoe at right now. I think, you know, in current market, this shoe goes for like six to $9,000, you know what I'm saying? Six or nine, I don't know, either one of those, but it's an expensive shoe. And that's our friends and family version. Unfortunately, it's not my size. It is what it is. Let's keep it pushing to the next shoe. All right, all right, we gotta mix it up a little bit. I see this white box. I've seen shoes in the past that come in a white box like this, so I think I have an idea. Yep, that's right, you see the tag? Oh yeah, green Louis Air Force One. I already know what it is. See, told you, look at the box. Look at the box. This is a fire shoe. Hey, we, we've shown this on the, uh, on the channel before in the past, but uh, we just gotta show it again, because you know what I'm saying? This is a great sneaker. I wish it was my size though. Damn, okay. You got the Louis bags right here. You got the special details. Look at the swoosh on the top of the box. Damn, white paper doubled up. Boy, this is a clean shoe. You got all the laces and everything in here. So this has like a little belt. It's got the white and the green laces that come with it. And that was always a weird thing. I, I never understood with the Louis Vuitton shoes. They always do two sets of white laces. Like, why wouldn't they give you the third lace be like a different color? But I don't know, we can talk about that another day. Look at this shoe right here. These things go crazy. I need the Louis forces in my life, bro. I still don't got that. This is crazy. Okay, so right here, what else we got? You got the white leather swoosh. This is like a little bag tag situation. Where's the bag tag? It's somewhere inside of here. I'll find it, we'll get some pictures of it. But this is uh, definitely a crazy shoe. I gotta put these on the table. Bruh, these things are like nine bands. Like, I know it's an Air Force One, I get it, but these things are expensive. All right, next up right here, we got a Jordan 1 box. Air Jordan 1 High SP Wolf Gray. What the? Bro. No way. <laughs> How do they do this? Okay, all right, okay, I see, I see. You, okay, I get it. Look at this, bro, I knew it. They did it again. Zero out of 8,500, friends and family only. You have to be somebody special to get this shoe, not only for retail, but to get this one in particular, this is a crazy shoe. Some people don't even know about stuff like this. So hopefully I can help put you guys up on game. But this was exclusive to the friends and family. It comes in a Jordan 1 box. I think this is extremely dope. You got the insoles right here, all the same stuff. 
just minus the packaging. You got the little hang tags. Bro, this is crazy. This is nice, but this is not my size. So you know what I'm saying? We just have to keep passing on these. Okay, so right here, we didn't already went through five sneakers. And these are some crazy grills for a lot of people's collection. And we're at over like $30,000 alone just for these five sneakers. So people that don't know about sneakers and think that there's not enough value in it, trust me, you can get some crazy shoes out there. And just based off of this pace and how many I see in here, there's gotta be a couple bangers in here that's worth at least 50 or 60K. Maybe even some $100,000 shoes. I don't know, we'll see what we can find. All right, taking it into the next shoe. We got a lot of Jordans out here, you know what I'm saying? They like to curate it for you, boy. I get that, I like that. They're trying to impress me and make me smile. What we got right here? Air Jordan 4, Duckman. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just what I said, they're trying to impress me. This is a shoe that I don't have. They're messing with my emotions right now. Size 12 and a half. I just might have to make these things fit. Might have to cut off a baby toe or my big toe. I don't know. These are the Duckman Air Jordan 4s. This shoe is insane. This is like a twenty-five dollars or $30,000 shoe right here. This is so rare. They made them only for the basketball team. So you know the basketball team. They only got like 15 guys, plus coaching staff, different things like that. Next thing you know, there's only like 30 to 50 pairs out in circulation. Now college football, there's gonna be a couple hundred pairs. So just off of that alone, in this type of sizing, if you find a 12 and a half or a 13 and a half, the price just goes up more and more. I need to see what they price these at because I might put my bid in, I don't know. This is kind of high, this is kind of expensive. We'll see though, I, I told them I was gonna buy something from the box. All right, so I see a SB box and I see a Jordan box. I might get into the SBs, but we're gonna stick with the Jordans for a little bit longer, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> All right, right here. Air Jordan 4. Ooh. I already know what this is. Do you guys know what this is? It's purple. I think that should say enough. Oh my gosh. Which version is this? Ooh. You got the icy outsole. You got the Travis Scott. Purple nurples. Whatever you like to call these things. Dead stock. Oh my gosh. This is like $35,000, $40,000 shoes. So just like I was talking about those Duckman 4s over there, those are expensive. But these just topped them. I feel like we're getting up there right now. This is crazy. You got the Nike Air on the back. Hold on, actually, I gotta take both shoes out for this one because these ones are a little bit different. This is something that you don't typically see all the time right here. You got the Cactus Jack on the back right here on the right foot, the Nike Air on the back on the left foot. To see a retro version like this with the, oh, with the leather sock liner. Oh, the premium black laces. The black nets, the purple suede hang tag. Every detail about this shoe is insane right here. There's a few different versions. Maybe there's some more in the box. I don't know. Either way, this shoe is crazy. Let me know what you guys think about these. I feel like this is probably gonna be a fan favorite in the comment section. Everybody loves this shoe. And you know on time, they got that heat. So I, I understand why they would have these inside the mystery box. But damn, I don't know if I can afford these ones right now. We're gonna have to push it to the next shoe. Okay, so I told you guys I was skipping over the SBs, but I gotta do it now because you know what I'm saying? We gotta open everything in the box. This one right here, oh man, not my size. This is an old box right here. So typically when you see an old box, you know it's a banger. What we got here? Nike Dunk High Pro SB Supreme University Blue. Ooh, ooh. You're talking about grails? This is a grail right here. It's like I'm Ziplocs. Oh my God, dead stock pair, bro. Damn, look at that. Gold on the Supreme right there. You got the gold stitch on the tongue with the Nike. Gold stars on the side. Bruh, the materials on the shoe is insane. This right here, man, I was talking about grills. What shoe in here is not a grill at this point? This is actually crazy. I thought they were gonna sprinkle in like some regular stuff too, but they're just going crazy right now. What do you guys think about this? Drop a comment down below, rate these out of 10. I'd have to give these, I know, I'm not gonna give them a 10 but I give them a solid 9.69. All right, so I see some boxes over here, but I'm gonna dig a little bit deep this time. I see this box, I don't know what this is right here. We got, ooh, we got stuff falling, we gotta be careful. All right, so it's untied. Nike Dunk SB 7-Eleven. Ooh, ooh. They got the replacement box. Yo, gum bottom. All right, first off, any shoe with a gum bottom, okay, I can't say any shoe, but at least like 95% of the sneakers that have a gum bottom on them, it's a clean shoe. Like you can never go wrong with a gum bottom outsole. So that alone just makes the shoe great. Yes, we all know this shoe is very rare and exclusive and hard to get. What size is this? This is a 10. Damn, 
I can't do nothing with a size 10. So I'm gonna have to pass on these, but very clean shoe. Let me know what you guys think about these down below. Look at the details. You got the 7-Eleven on the back. You got the branding with the 7-Eleven on the front end right here, just below the Nike SB. You got the stripes with the Nike on the back end right here. This leather, yeah, this is nice. Okay, so this shoe has been sitting in the corner and already, you know what I'm saying? I already see it because it's not in a box, but we just got to show you guys these ones real quick because I just been letting them linger. This is a shoe that I've been being bougie about and I want to cop. I want to see what size these are, honestly, because I feel like this is a pretty affordable shoe. Now, I know it's crazy when I say that, you know, probably like a, I'm guessing, you know, three or $4,000 shoe. It's affordable, I know, I get it. But when you see some of these shoes, right? Tens of thousands of dollars. What size are these things? See, this is where they mess with my emotions. I already know I see. <sighs> size 12. What am I gonna do with a size 12? This is, see, they know what they are doing. I know, I already know what they know what they are doing. So anyways, besides that, you got the Oregon Ducks logo right here on the side of the right foot. You got <laughs> the player number on the side of the left foot. So whoever was 44 at the time, What's up, bro? I don't know if you're watching this video. Somebody want to do a little research, but anyways, you got the lasering right here on the side of the foot with the wings on both of these. Now these ones were for the football team, pretty dope, but these are very similar to the release. So I can understand why they aren't as expensive as the other ones. Now, this shoe is definitely very clean still. Let me know what you think about these down below. And for all my PE heads out there, all my sample guys, do you guys remember when they had the wedding fives from the early 2000s? Very similar to these, but he had the gold Nike Air on the back. That was the exclusive shoe. Those right there, I would love to see in person, but there's like 10 or 15 pairs of those and it was only exclusive to a wedding party for a Jordan brand member. Oh, that would be a crazy shoe to see. All right, you guys, so we are already over $100,000 just with these 10 sneakers right here. And we still got a good way to go, but it's starting to heat up. You know what I'm saying? We got some $30,000, $40,000 sneakers in the mix. I know the average price is, you know, around $10,000 per shoe, but trust me, there's some crazy expensive shoes out there in this world. And I know Untied probably got a couple of them. So we got more shoes in here. I see a Kobe box. You know what I'm saying? Untied is from LA. It makes sense. I know they got some fire in here. There's no tag on here. So that means we got some type of exclusive sneaker. Which one is it gonna be is the question. Ooh. Oh, you got the purple friends and family undefeated patent leather Kobe one. These things go crazy. Oh my gosh. I have the camo version and I have the white pair of these for the undefeated pack, but these ones in particular, oh my gosh. What is this like a 10 or a $15,000 shoe? This shoe has to be, I don't know. They'll, they'll pop the prices up on the screen. We'll do the recap later, but I know for a fact this shoe is very expensive. And it's nice. Okay, so I think I see two more Louis boxes in here, bro. This is crazy. They got the white box and they got one that doesn't have the package. So we'll t I'll tell the story later about the Louis boxes, but I want to grab this one first because it's already exposed. You know what I'm saying? It's calling my name. Let's see what we got inside. Same thing. Got the white swoosh on there. Okay, got the white. Oh, wait a minute. Okay, okay, you did it, you did it. I ain't seen these in person yet. I seen them on the internet, but I ain't got to see them in person yet, bruh. The blue, all blue, friends and family, Louis Vuitton Air Force One. This shoe will be clocking in at like 80 to $120,000, somewhere around there. I know for a fact, this shoe has been crazy prices on the internet because you just can't get the shoe. Like these things are so hard to find let alone just getting the regular pairs. What size are these things? Nah, not my size. I wasn't gonna buy these anyways. But either way, this shoe was actually crazy. I feel like, I feel like we should give them a moment of silence. You know what I'm saying? This is a great shoe. Let's just. Okay, respect to Virgil, respect to Nike. Would you guys like to see this come out in public? This should come out in public. I, I'm just saying like, this would be crazy, bruh. I don't even know what to say. They actually did a good job on this one. They actually did a good job. Okay, Untied, one point for you, 11 points for me. You showed me something I haven't seen before in person. I like it, I respect. You did a good job. Wow, that's all I can say, you know what I'm saying? I'm, <laughs> that's all I can say. Wow, they did that, they actually did that. 
That's crazy. All right, we know what this is. We already know what this is. Luminate, Off-White Air Force One. Uh-oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> this is your lucky day. It says giveaway on here. You know what that means. This is for y'all. We'll have more information at the end of the video. Make sure you guys stick around to learn how to enter into the giveaway. Damn, they do ICAs and orange lobsters? All right, next up right here, we got Air Jordan 3 Retro, University Red, Black Cement. Oh, the tags on here. DJ Khaled, Grateful. Ooh, ooh, this one's nice. This is the red pair right here. Mmm, we the best. Hey, wait, hold on, hold on, here we go. <clears throat> Still. 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 Still, we're still in the meeting. Hey, Khaled, I love you, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm just still trying to pull up and see the collection. That's all I'm saying. I'm still trying to come and see your collection. All right, what we got for the next shoe right here? Oh, this is a, you already know what this is. What color is it? That's the question. Ooh, ah. this shoe is wild. So you know what it is. You see the packaging. Louis Vuitton, Dawn. Let me see what we got right here. I know what color it is because I saw the box, but can you guess? Can you guess? Can you guess? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Shout out to Spike Lee. All right, we got the Nike swoosh right here. Very clean shoe. I'm sure you guys have seen this a couple times since we already went through it, but Louis Vuitton packaging, got the dust bags, premium, white paper, and then we got the shoe. Oh, we got the shoe. So these right here are the Louis Vuitton gold Air Force Ones. These did come out to the public. Now retail on these things was like $2,750 or something like that. Plus taxes, next thing you know, you're spending like $3,000, $3,200 on the shoe. You know what I'm saying? I'm from Oregon, but we didn't really get them there, but that's a whole nother topic. Either way, this shoe retails around $3,000 for those that were asking. But when it comes to resale value, you're talking like eight, nine, $10,000, depending on the size. Now these particular are not in my size. So I got no chance of getting this shoe, which means it might be a little bit more affordable, but at the end of the day, this is a very wild, but clean shoe. All right, next up right here. Ah, I got this shoe. You know what I'm saying? I like this shoe right here. This is a clean shoe. This is the CPFM. Ooh, look at those things dance. See now the camera never does this shoe justice. I know it might look good on camera, but I'm telling you, when you see these things in person I'm, and with all these lights around, they hit insane this is a crazy shoe i love this sneaker let me know what you think down below i know this is kind of like one of those polarizing shoes that some people just don't like it it's too flashy it's too wild i get that but at the end of the day this is definitely a very very clean shoe these things hit for like three to five thousand dollars six thousand dollars depending on the size all the different variations of people wearing it or not because you know what i'm saying when you wear it you might be able to get a good deal shout out to the people that buy used shoes you can still do that it's cool to do i'll be doing that every now and then but they got everything dead stock here so i get that too but either way this shoe is crazy let me know what y'all think about these down below untied is doing their thing right now i think we're probably like past like we gotta be past like a quarter mil right now there's gotta be at least two hundred fifty thousand dollars on the table just with these alone hold on let's just you know what I'm saying? Real quick, those things go crazy. Ooh, ooh, what we got right here? Off-white, well, you can see that from the lid. So they did this on the ones. Ooh, a little peak show. All right, so, oh, wait. <laughs> okay, so this is actually funny because these are my size and I actually don't have these ones. I got the blue ones and I got the red ones but I don't have the white ones. These things are precious. This is a very clean shoe. It's hard to wear a white shoe being a size 13. The shoe just looks huge. And I kind of ran away from it because of those reasons and the yellowing, but this pair is icy still. I ain't gonna lie, I might have to put a bid in. I don't know how much they got these valued at. I'm guessing like six or seven K. Hopefully it's cheaper. But we're gonna see, this shoe is crazy. Let me know when it comes to the off-white ones, which one do you like the most? Do you like the blue, the red, or the white? Let me know down below in the comment section. All right, next up right here, we got another pair of J's, uh, but they're not my size. What the hell are these? Jordan 5. Oh yeah, this is a nice shoe right here. So, okay, 
This one in particular, Michigan, Fab Five, but this is the alternate. So they normally have the hand on the back that looks like this, but these actually have the jump man on the back and there's no M on the tongue of the shoe. So the Michigan Five is very rare, hard to find. This one is even more exclusive, more rare, more hard to find. So I'm guessing probably like 15, 13, somewhere around there when it comes to thousands of dollars. It's probably around that price when it comes to this sneaker. It might be more though, just because this one is the more rare version. So it could be pushing up close to $20,000. I know it might be crazy, but trust me, when it comes to rarity and those different things, you could see some pretty pennies on these shoes. I mean, just look at this stuff right here. These ain't even the most expensive shoe on the list. Okay. <laughs> we see a lot of Jordan boxes in here. This is nice right here. What is this? Air Jordan 11 Retro Blue Cell. I've seen this shoe before. Okay, I have. But you don't see it often. This shoe is crazy, bro. I know the low tops came out and that's cool and all, but these do not amount to the high tops. The Derek Jeter Blue Suede Air Jordan 11, you got the milky outsoles, the two stitched on the back, the premium laces, the embossed Jumpman on the side. I can't say much, but this greatness. Now this shoe in particular, out of all these on the table, they gotta be in my top three, 100%. I'll debate after I kind of like lay it all out. But I mean, well, I guess they're all kind of all laid out right here, but yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, these are for sure in my top three. This shoe is crazy, bro. This is like, this is like a $50,000 shoe. This is like something crazy. I don't know what the price is. I don't, I don't plan on buying a pair anytime soon. And I have never seen a pair of my size ever. This is not my size either, but oh man. This is like, this is like a shoe that I'm trying to, I'm trying to paint the picture for you guys. This is a shoe, this is like a mythical sneaker. This is a shoe that you hear about, you see a little bit on the internet, but this is a shoe that you just never really come by. So when we talk about rare gems, this is up there on the list, 100%. There's like six pairs of shoes left in here. And they just told me that there's a, we're at like 300 and something thousand dollars, but like the low end of the 300s. So six pairs of shoes, we got a lot of ground to cover. This is gonna be crazy. Let's grab a, we got, a, we got another Jordan box right here. You know, I like the Jordan boxes. I always like to go for those. What we got here? Oh, shoot. It's another 11. This one is different though. White, white, pink ice. Oh, I already know what these are, I've seen these before. But this is a crazy shoe. So they got the gray version and they got the pink version. These are the OVO Drizzy Drake Rogers. This is a very nice shoe right here. You got the pink stitch with the jump man on the back end. You got the 45 stitch on the back end right here as well. You got that pink snake skin all throughout the upper, the carbon fiber, and look at those pink pods. Ooh wee. The white laces. This shoe is amazing right here. They did a really, really good job. But again, I don't think they amount to the Jeters. The Jeters are just a whole nother level. The material on this shoe is insane, insane. If I, I would rate these like a 10 out of 10, I'd probably rate these like, I know I sound disrespectful, but this is like, like an eight, like a solid eight. I feel like it's cool, right? It's not bad. Eight out of 10, I feel like it's cool. I think it's only because there's a low top version already. You know what I'm saying? Like we seen the white, we already seen it come out to the public. They just made it a high top version. So I get that. And the low top of these like came out after these were made. Instead of these came out, you know what I mean? I don't know. Sneakerhead problems. <laughs> I see another LV box. <laughs> this one is big, bro. Hold up. Okay, I know what this is, but I never seen this before. I seen this before, but I never seen this before. I know it don't make sense. I'll explain it to you in a second. So this is the white box that goes around the box, which you guys have seen before. You heard the box farting? Okay. LV box, great. Brown box, great. But this is something, just based off the size tag, if this is right, bro, I've never seen this before. Okay. I'm excited about this because this is legit, bro. This is about to be crazy. Okay. We got the white Nike Swoosh right here. 
Same thing, you guys seen the routine. I'm sure you guys are Louis Vuitton experts by this point, right? You got the bags, Louis Vuitton Air. This is crazy, bro, because if this is true, this might be the one. This might actually be the one. I'm gonna blow the bag. What the? This is the blue and white Nike Air Force One. But look at the size tag, 12 and a half. This is a size 12 and a half, you guys. I'm a 13, by the way, you know, they always say Air Force Ones run big. They did this. They did this to me. I know they did this. I know. I know what you guys are doing. You guys are trying to sucker me in right here and I said I was gonna buy a pair of shoes. Okay, let me explain this to you guys. When it comes to these Air Force Ones, you see these sizes right here, all these other pairs, they're always like smaller sizes. 11 and down, maybe a 12, maybe a 12. You never see the bigger sizes. I've seen two size 13s out in the wild, and one of them was the brown pair that's like $150,000. So you, you kind of get where I'm driving. Oh, gotta protect the laces. But basically when it comes to this shoe in particular, they don't make these like that, that often. So to all my big feet people out there, size 13 gang, you know what I'm talking about. It's very hard to find our size, especially in rare sneakers like this. So <laughs> I'm gonna have to see what's up with that discount double check because I'm gonna have to go ahead and blow the bag real quick. These things go crazy. Okay, blue and white Louis Air Force One. These came out to the public, like I said, on the other ones. Retail was like $3,000 after taxes and everything. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. These gotta be like at least like 15 or 20 racks. Because the last pair that I seen, like somebody was asking like 30, and I thought that was crazy. So I think a realistic number might be like 15 or 20. Damn. What should I do? <laughs> I can't do it, bro, I can't do it. We got four shoes left. This has been an amazing ride. I appreciate you guys as always. If you're watching this far into the video and you haven't subscribed yet, what are you doing, man? We're trying to get to a million subs. And yes, Mr. Beast, we still coming for you. I just hope he doesn't do a million dollar box anytime soon because we might be in trouble. Either way, right here we got a Nike SB Dunk Low Premium. Ooh. Okay, so this is a very trending shoe, but hard to get, especially a clean pair. And this is an old shoe right here. The Red Lobsters. So the Orange Lobsters is popping right now. You got the blue, the green. They talking about the white ones coming out. The yellows are crazy expensive. You got the purple all these different variations. But the reds, I remember back in the day, like I used to have the blues and I always wanted the reds. This is a shoe that I've never had before, but I always wanted to. And at this point, it's just probably like crazy price. Like it's very hard to get, I get it. It's probably like what, three, four or $5,000. Some crazy insane price when it comes to these. The yellow lobsters are like 50K. Ain't that wild? But that's like more of a friends and family type thing. Either way, this is a very crazy shoe and you don't really see these that often in this type of condition and available. So again, if you guys wanna get these or any of this stuff, make sure you guys hit up Untied because trust me, they got that heat and they post a lot of stuff very often. So that's all I'm saying. Make sure you're following them on Instagram. I heard they was gonna be doing a YouTube channel. I'm trying to help them out with that. So I'll tag everything for them down below in the comment section and in the, in the description is everything. We'll make sure that you guys can get access to them because they definitely got some heat. Oh man. I'll just go for the one in the middle. It's a Jordan box. I like Jordans. Okay. Air Jordan 7 Retro. Oh. It says, it says athlete name. Is he an athlete? Oh no. <laughs> Nick Cannon. The Cannons. These right here are crazy. Now you guys know the Wild and Out TV show. As you see on the bottom of the shoe, Wild and Out logo. But Nick Cannon actually has a couple different Jordans that were like, this was something that he got. We've seen the fours. There might be some other stuff floating out there on the internet or out in the wild when it comes to the sneaker kingdom. But when it comes to rare shoes, this is gonna be something that's really hard to find. You're not really gonna see that many pairs. Uh, out of all these right here, you're probably gonna see one of this one in particular, the least out of a lot of this stuff. So even on the internet, just searching photos, you really don't see this one that often. This is a very crazy shoe. I'm guessing somewhere 20, 30, 40,000. I don't know. We'll see what they say. They got the prices, everything on the screen. It's keeping track of everything. But this is a wild shoe. This is not my size. This is 11 and a half. 
I wish I could get these, honestly. This is a crazy shoe, I like these a lot. Damn, these are nice. All right, right here, another Jordan box. Ooh, ah, this is a nice one. So it says Air Jordan 4, Drake, OVO PE. If anybody knows, like we said, we had the Drake 11s, but Drake all it's funny because Drake's shoes, I feel like I'm coming for Drake today, but his shoes like that come out to the public, you know, it's just the white and the black. It's clean, do not get me wrong. The materials are nice and did a great job, but his PEs, his PEs are like way better than the drops. I feel like they should have dropped his PEs more often. Even though this one is similar to the bread four, you got the Drake Splatter Air Jordan 4. Very rare shoe, very expensive shoe, but it's gonna be hard to find. I know a lot of people is gonna say, hey, those look just like the breads, but there's a lot of differences as well. You got the white behind the mesh right here on the nets and everything like that. And then you got the different hits with the splatter on the midsole, on the back tab. And then there are different versions as well with the tongue. This one in particular doesn't have the white stitch around it. And I think these ones are honestly a little bit more rare and exclusive than those pairs than you typically see. So I'm just saying, this is a crazy shoe, very expensive shoe, definitely not my size. I like these a lot, wish I could have them in my collection, but at the same time, I don't know if I'm ready to drop that bag. So they said we're at $400,000 with all these sneakers on the table. This is like, like 20, just over 20 pairs of shoes. That means this last pair of shoes right here is a $100,000 shoe. I think we saw one in the past. This is Louis Vuitton. We saw this one right here. I think it's like 80 or 100 grand. So I got a good idea. I don't know what it is though. We're gonna see. Okay. Got the white swoosh. You guys are Louis Vuitton experts at this point. You know what I'm saying? We've seen a couple in today's rotation. <laughs> oh shoot. Oh my gosh. Y'all ready for this? They're like, show me the shoe. I want to see it already. I'll show you the tip. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but for real, bro, these things go crazy. You got the green. You got the green. Friends and family. Louis Vuitton. Air Force One. $100,000 sneaker. It looked like money. These things are crazy. I thought these blue ones were fire. Look at that, I'm holding $200,000 in my hand right here. That's a whole house. I'm holding a whole house right here. <laughs> but bro, this green, this green is on a whole nother level. This deserves me looking at the second camera. How's it going over there? I've seen you guys been watching for a while throughout the video. I appreciate you guys as well. But anyways, bruh, what, what do I even do? What do I even say? We had a moment of silence in the past already. This is what took it to the whole nother level to get $500,000 worth of sneakers. The green Louis Vuitton Air Force One. Capping this thing off with a bang. Shout out to Untied, bro. Y'all really did that thing. They put $500,000 on this box and they gave me $500,000 worth of shoes. I ain't gonna lie. I kind of want to challenge them for a million. Let's see if they can do it. I don't know. And if any else wants to challenge us out there on the internet, let's do it too. Let's see what we can do. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Let's break the internet together. This is crazy, bro. I never seen these in person. You guys are two for however many. You guys got me twice. You know what I'm saying? What, uh, what, what, what do you say? Fool, fool me once. You, you can't get fooled again. <laughs> George Bush. $500,000 worth of sneakers. And I told you at the end, we're gonna let you know all the information for the giveaways as well. They sprinkled in two pairs of shoes. We got the orange lobsters and the ICAs. All you guys need to do is make sure that you are following Untied on Instagram. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel and hit the link down below in the description and it'll be pinned in the comment section. Go to that link, sign up, you'll be good to go. Once you have entered, you'll be notified for, via email if you have one. That means we're gonna be selecting two different winners to pick the shoes in their size on what they wanna get. So good luck to everybody. Thank you for watching this video. Share it with your friends. <sighs> one million dollars.
Here we come. I would never let you down. It's in my DNA. Yo, before you go, I just launched my Sneakerhead Academy where we got everything on the inside. I teach you all the stuff that I learned over the past 15 years when it comes to sneakers, scaling, real estate, you name it. We talk about all of it in there. And there's an eight-week program plus a bunch of monthly giveaways. I give away shoes literally way too much, honestly. But either way, I'll see you guys on the inside. Hit the link down below in my description or pinned in the comment section for DJ Sneakerhead Academy. And I'll see you guys over there. I was made for it. It's in the DNA. I was made for it, it's in the DNA The only choice I like to make when I'm a OG status in my closet, gotta dust them off 91 Jordan 